So we got 43 days left. And uh, yeah. What do you plan to do in 43 days? Uh, have the drive by itself. <laughs> Hey, I'm Shane. We're on day 33 of our 100 day goal, and we're working on building a chassis that replaces the current frame of our golf cart. We designed our chassis in CAD in order to work out the size and placement of our components. But before we could do that, we needed to sketch some design ideas on paper. It was a team effort. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Hey, you guys copied me. We didn't copy you. What's wrong with copying? This is a unique design. I'm gonna go call my... Wait, 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 wait. Hey, We started by cutting out our aluminum parts and welded them together using a MIG style spool gun. We designed the chassis to allow us to mount the steering system, rear drive train, and suspension. Jason is over to help me rewire and mount all of our processing components onto a single board. Time to mount the steering system and drive train. Today we welded up the rear axle, all the suspension on the axle, and uh, put shocks and springs and all that stuff on there. And it's perfect, right? <laughs> More or less, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it at all. <laughs> our next step is to reconnect our actuators, brake lines, steering system, and all of our electronics. We'll follow that by building out the seat structure. We put on the seat belts and the straps and stuff, so. Now we have the seat bolts for the seats. But yeah, yeah they, they worked out pretty good. Good enough for now? <laughs> yeah, good enough for now. Okay, we're here on our uh, maiden voyage with the new chassis. <laughs> so far, so good. We haven't gone into the lake yet. Yeah, we're, we're uh, trying to stay out of the water and wait for the cars to pass. Good, good. Uh, we got full control of the vehicle. We can drive forward and backwards. Uh, we added a lot of structure for the seats. We added enough uh, seat belts for six uh, passengers. This is similar to an SUV seating. The, the size of it, actually, there's a, there's a slightly bit uh, more room on the sh uh, shoulder sides, but uh, the seat spacing is identical. I actually went and looked at my SUV and copied the uh, uh, placement for the seats. What we've done here for the floor we actually widen this out, and actually this is curb height. If you're to drive this up next to a curb, uh, you should be able to actually roll right onto this with a wheelchair or with a dolly or you know whatever it is you need. We got the UPS guy coming here, uh, make his life easier, and then uh, there we go. <laughs> that was easy. And now it's time for the real test. Let's go see what my neighbor Gary thinks. So. What do you think we're doing? Well, don't you research like autonomous? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I gave it away. Yeah. What you're working on? Yeah, yeah. I think it's extremely interesting. Very, very cool. You want to go for a ride? Sure, I don't freeze to death first. <laughs> we started this 57 days ago, and we were planning to get it done in 100 days. So we got 43 days left. And uh, yeah. What do you plan to do in 43 days? Uh, have it drive by itself. <laughs> when I was at Ford, I actually helped start their AV project. I actually bi-wired their first vehicles, me and seven other guys. And so I've been in vehicles driving around with joysticks for a long time. <laughs> uh, but this is the first time I've actually built one myself. I want you to pay you to do this. <laughs> oh, get a job doing this. Should get a job. <laughs> I'm only teasing you. This is a real job. I'm oh. very impressed. Sometimes people stop right at the end of the driveway and they literally look in here and they're like, they're like this, they're like. 
right What is he doing? Oh, you live next to that guy that's got the, got the, um, uh, look, I'm a goat. Yeah, he's got a glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. We see will. You. We'll keep you updated, okay? Yeah. I'd like to see when you do something else. All right. Thanks. All right, take, care. take care. By creating a fully bi wired platform, we've completed the first of our two major challenges. The second part will be the sensing and the compute for the AV. With less than 50 days to go on our 100 day goal, our work is cut out for us. We hope you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching.